Hi, I've made a couple of videos on making simple games using HTML5 and JavaScript, where you only need a text editor to do the coding. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use a touch screen function. In the earlier videos, I used a script that I built on, adding new stuff for each video, making the script containing more things for each step of the way. And at the end, we had a complete simple game. This time, I will start from the basics, keeping things as simple as possible, just doing what is needed to demonstrate the use of a touch control. I will use the same basic setup as earlier, and I will not now explain everything in detail. You can go back to the earlier videos for that. So, we will need two files. One HTML file and one JavaScript file. Both can be written in a text editor. A specialized script editor can be helpful, but not strictly necessary. In the description below there are links to the earlier videos and to download the finished scripts, so you do not need to take any notes as we are going along. Ok, so we will have a HTML file which is good to name index. That is, as far as I have seen, the standard for uploading to sites, if that is something you will want to do. The really important part of the HTML file is the part that runs the JavaScript file. That is basically all that the HTML file does. In the JavaScript file, we will have a couple of standard parts. I will not go into all finer details here. You can find some of that in the earlier videos. The first part of the code is the part that is necessary to create the canvas that we are going to draw on. We also have a variable called rect that we will use later in an event listener to help us looking in the right area. We need a main loop that will run the game. This is a standard part that would be in any game. It calls an update function and a render function, so we put them in as well. In this case, we are not going to put anything in the update function. The render function is where we draw stuff. We will have a background and we will have a rectangle that we can move around using touch on the screen. We use fill style to set a color, blue in this case, and fill a rectangle with the position and the size of the screen. That will be our background. We change the color to white and we fill the rectangle that we want to move around with that color. Since we are going to move the rectangle, we use variables px and py for the position and we set 50 pixels for width and height. So we need start values for the px and py variable. And I think we should start with the rectangle in the middle. So we want half of the screen minus half of the movable rectangle. So x value will be 295 and we will have 215 for y. So let's see if things work this far. And so far so good. We are then ready to add the possibility to move the white rectangle using touch. So we will need a event listener. We talked about event listeners in part 2. This time we need to listen for a touch event. Touch start and touch end are events that would be good for button down or up actions. 
In this case, we will use Touch Move that will react to a movement of a touch point. We will then collect the coordinates of the touch point and use that to set the variables px and py. Touches client x will get us the x value. We use rect left to compensate for the position of the canvas in the browser. And finally, subtract half of the white rectangle's width to put us in the middle of the white rectangle. We do the corresponding for the Y position. And that is it. Let's see if it worked. I will test it in Google Chrome's mobile emulator. And it does what it is supposed to do, so everything is fine. Well, that will be all for this time. See you later. Bye. Bye.